Hello everyone, hello PMAPers of the Philippines and the world and welcome to our segment People Watch. We are very honored to have our guest this afternoon, Attorney JBJ, and I would like to introduce to you. Attorney Josephos B. Jimenez is a well-experienced HR executive with 25 years combined experience in San Miguel Corporation, Petron or PNOC group of companies, Pepsi Cola, Elizaldi Group and Atlas Mining in both specialist employee and labor relations and total generalist as total HRBP. He has 20 years experience in government, in the judiciary, as well as in Dole, NLRC, BLR, and NCMB as conciliator, mediator, arbitrator, labor arbiter, and Dole undersecretary. Hello, Attorney JBJ. Good afternoon, po. Yeah, good afternoon and uh, greetings to all the PMAP members all over the world and in the Philippines. Thank you, po. So, uh, we are so honored to have you as our guest this afternoon for the people uh, watch. Um, on our segment, we are featuring COPA. Can you tell us what COPA is all about and what is the role? and the members of COPA. Yeah, COPA is the uh, organization composed of former president of PMAP. And uh, if you can see the screen now, can you see the screen? Yes, attorney. Uh, COPA uh, is an advisor to the incumbent uh, PMAP leadership. Every year, we change president, ex-com, ex and board of trustees. So there is a need that uh, something should be uh, all, all there all the time to guide the new officers along our vision and mission as PMAP organization. Okay, thank you. Thank you, attorney. Okay, so... Um, can you also share with us the innovation projects of COPA for this year? Well, when we talk of innovation, perhaps the most revolutionary and the most earth-shaking earth initiative that PMAP can undertake is to lead and be a part of the movement to overhaul the Labor Code of the Philippines, which is already 43 years old, and it was promulgated by a constitutional dictator under a regime of martial law. That's why in the Labor Code, uh, there are many intervi interventions by government in the exercise of management prerogative of hiring, firing, transferring, promoting, and all this. So our hands are tied. We cannot compete in the global arena because government is very dominant in the relationship between employees and employer. Yeah, you mentioned, thank you, attorney. This is indeed earth shaking. And as you mentioned, it is uh, revolutionary. So I completely agree with you on this. On this. As you mentioned, um, we need to be competitive. What particular issues that you are seeing, for example, that should help Philippines become competitive in relation to this? The issue of uh, uh, levels of productivity, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the cost of uh, labor, uh, because among the 10 ASEAN countries, namely Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Myanmar, Laos, and Brunei. The Philippines used to be number three. Then we, we, we slide down to number four, then number five. As of today, we are number six. Uh, in other words, the number one is Singapore, number two is Malaysia, number three is Indonesia, number four is Thailand. Number five now is Vietnam. We, we used to be number five no? for, uh, for the longest time. When I was president of PMAP in 2014, uh, we were number five. But now we are number six because Vietnam has overtaken us. 
Okay, so thank you very much, Attorney. So what do you think will be the role of PMAP and COPA on this? A PMAP should be active in the forefront in the hearings before the House of Representatives. On that note, how can we support the projects of COPA? Well, to support the project of COPA, uh, members of PMAP who represent company, who represent company, must consult their uh, their principals and uh, give inputs. What innovations, what uh, changes do you want to introduce? Because uh, as of today, we want to look at the role of government. For instance. Uh, we want to minimize these uh, inspections by the dole because you know there is harmony in the workplace and then here comes the dole representative and uh, interviewing one or two people and then come come up with uh, an order uh, for the principal employer to absorb all the employees of the agency that is killing us uh, in the area of competitiveness in the global arena and even in the ASEAN region. We are now uh, uh, lagging behind. So what are your message or messages that you would like to share with all of us? Our, uh, my message is this. If you are in HR, you should look at the HR diamond. Can you see the HR diamond? Uh, diamond is that the work of HR can be classified into four. Talent acquisition is bringing in the talent, attract, retain, motivate, and empower. And then when you empower, you deploy. And then total rewards now uh, replaces the name compensation and benefits. And then learning and development instead of merely training people. And we have the newest, instead of employer relations, labor relations, or industrial relations, we have the organizational justice. And I have founded a movement, movement for organizational justice with past president Freddy Marquez. And I have now, we have followers and our pillar of uh, uh, advancement is the overhaul of the labor code of the Philippines. I am calling on you, it's our, to join us in this movement because this is the time to change and be aligned with the rest of the world and we will improve our competitive advantage in the ASEAN region and we will be treated with dignity and honor in the global arena. Okay, thank you very much Attorney JBJ. Indeed, this is really earth-shaking and we are very honored of your presence this afternoon. So thank you and back to you, Trustee Joe.